So one is, could you extrapolate on the misconception of greed? Something Milton Friedman argued often, how can we overcome these misconceptions? I mean, greed is just a form of expressing your self-interest and it can be in a healthy way or it can be unhealthy. Greed can definitely be unhealthy. The problem is our perception of self-interest. As long as we have a negative perception of self-interest, then greed is, what is greed? Greed, greed is a single-minded pursuit of fill in the blank. Usually it's money. But there are periods in life where it's not that bad if you're an investment banker to have a single-minded pursuit of money. As long as you're not cheating, lying, stealing in order to do it, but working 70, 80 hours a day in order to, you know, which is what you'll be expected to work if you go to Goldman Sachs after you get your MBA and your single-mindedly pursuit on that, and then people will call you greedy, but what's bad about that? But if greed is then that pursuit of money is then an excuse to lying, cheating and stealing and cutting corners and doing, then it's wrong, but it's not the greed that it's wrong, it's what you did with it. It's the actions that you took. So greed in and of itself is just a single-minded pursuit. Greed used to be applied to food. So people, you, people if they said you're greedy, it meant that you ate too much. You were single-mindedly focused on eating rather than on, I guess, other stuff. Um, it's neutral, I think. But the thing that people really find offensive is the self-interest. Even if you don't lie, steal, or cheat, they're coming after you. Because it's the fact that you're pursuing your self-interest that's offensive. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, Please take this opportunity, go to yourunbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...